Mmm, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Sing it with me together now. Eating out of Tupperware every single day. Probably how a horse feels eating all that hay. Come on, together. Oh, eating out of Tupperware every single day. Probably how the horse feels eating all that hay. Yeah. New single dropping soon. Nah, for real, I'm just trying to get built like a horse. You seen some of these horses lately? Let's go look. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna be as appalled as me when you find out what they're really doing to these horses, what they've really been doing to them. Oh, doesn't sit right with me. All right, let me just show you here. Big old horse go. Oh my gosh. The first exhibit here, Jesus. We look at the front delts on that. You ain't telling me that's all from hay. They have to be literally grinding up other horses and feeding them to that horse to create one super horse. God, what'd I do for them delts? Got an ass on him too. Exhibit number two, wild buff horse spotted in the wild. Gosh, definitely doing keto, 100% keto. Exhibit three, Jesus. Now that's a big horse. That ain't the type of horse you ride. That's the type of horse that rides you, if you know what I mean. It's a big boy, a big beefy. Finally, the buffest horse of them all. Those are the results I really want. That is just a majestic creature right there. Crazy these things actually live amongst us. It's a beautiful species, beautiful species. And that's why I've been eating this way, because I'm just I'm trying to look like that, man. Especially horse number two. Y'all ever seen a Belgian blue bull, though? Hold up. B E L G I A N. Belgian blue bull. Click. Oh my God. It's a video one. Hold up. Oh my God. What is dangling between those loins? <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. Not the most flattering shot. Not the most flattering shot, but look at that, dude. What's that training split look like, you know? Oh, I see what it is now. That's testicles. I don't even know how we got on this topic. What is this channel coming to? How? Why did we start off like that? Maybe it's because it's grayer than Gandalf's pubes out there, man. Doesn't make for a good vibe, or maybe more of a goofy vibe. And that's been the thing about Houston these past, like, little bits, man. It's been really, uh, good angle back. Hold up, up. There we go. It's been really like just gloomy, man. Like the weather's cool right now. Like it's like 75, 76 degrees. I mean, it's, it, that's cool. But um, it's it's real gray, man. You walk outside, it's like watching a black and white TV show. But even when it's a gray day, we don't let that get us down, man. We source our energy from a more processed source, a synthetic source, man. We get up in here, woo, and we grab the magic. Yeah. We need to beef up. Uh, I think this is all the daily crap right here. We got greens, pre, because I need that right now for energy, fish oil, creatine, and vitamin D3, because when it's gray outside, you don't get enough of this. You take this, it'll uh, make you feel a little better. All right, what do I want to start with, big boy? Dry scoop some greens first. Whoop, gotta get this in. Uh. <laughs> Not as bad as you think. All right, give me a fishy. Mm -hmm. That's a fishy. Give me a D3E. D3E. Bottoms up, bottoms up, up. Mm. <laughs> No, gross story. They literally just happened like two minutes ago. When I swallowed those, like the big pill and the both little pills kind of went down and then I coughed and then the little pill shot back up into my mouth and bounced around like a pinball machine. I kind of liked it. I had to get this off the black market, man. This stuff's illegal in 76 states, 92 provinces. And if the guy selling it to you hasn't been to prison yet, doubt the legitimacy of it. I, I highly doubt the legitimacy. There we go, a little, little spoon there. Is that angle two? Hold up. All right, we're gonna take this bad boy dry. A little bit of water creatine dissolves almost immediately. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. No flavor either, no taste. I know what you're thinking. Ren, do you really take pre-workout when you're not even about to work out? And uh, yeah, I do a lot. Might be a problem, I don't know. I'm just gonna full scoop it because I need some energy. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, man. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Huh, that's not weird at all. <laughs> oh yeah, this is, uh, can, we, can you read that in here? Hold on. Boom, baby, Ancestry.com uh, DNA test. We're gonna see just how messed up my family tree is. So I, I have to do this in this video. My uh, girlfriend got me this for Christmas. She's big into a lot of things like this, things that I would never, ever in a million years think about doing. She, she, she has a lot of interest in. So she got me this for Christmas. She's been bugging me to do it. And I'm like, I gotta save it for a video. 
video. I gotta save it for a video. And last night, she laid the hammer down, boys. Relationship advice 101, if your girlfriend buys you something, no matter how goofy it is, just do it and make her happy, man. Happy, happy wife, happy, well, not wife. Happy girl, happy squirrel. I legitimately have no idea what this is even about. I've never done one of these. I've seen it a million times. I, you know, I've heard people talk about them, but I've never actually saw one. Like, how do they get my DNA? What do I gotta do? A suppository style? Sure hope not. So yeah, we're gonna figure it out right now, man. Let's open this thing up. All right, hope this is a good angle. Is it a good angle? Ooh, already having fun with it. All right, so first off, let's open it. Okay, pop the seal. Welcome to Ancestry DNA. Number one, activate kit online. Two, gather DNA. <laughs> Uh, that like freaks me. Gather DNA. Like this, I feel like I'm about to take over another alien civilization. And like, like you know, this is your just gather DNA. I just sound. I don't know. I don't know. Watch one too many sci-fi movies. Okay. What is this? Is this the collection bag? I'm just gonna go out to the dog park here and pick up a dog's turd and put it in there. Cause Lord knows these residents don't clean up their dog's crap. What is this? Another collection item here. I wonder where you stick that. And some blue liquid. Where does that go? And then a mailing package. All right. Well, this. This is pretty self-explanatory. Is that it? I think that's it. Test is activated. Now, step two on these instructions states, fill the tube with saliva to the black wavy line. A line, there it is. That's wavy, bruh. Here we go. Spit to here. I got a spit in this thing, huh? All right, here she goes. <laughs> that like grosses me out just doing it. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. This is like grossing me out. It's so, my spit's so foamy. It's all that salt, Ram. Does the foam count? All right, get down in there, get down in there. Spit to here, do not overfill. I feel like I overfilled. Come on, is that overfilled? Okay, so we got her filled up with saliva. Now, I can't, it says fill to that line. I mean, I got it to that line with like almost liquid spit, but the rest is uh, foam. I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't really give a shit. Okay, open up. Does replace the funnel with the cap? Got it. Says screw it on. Okay, now we gotta do it tightly and it's gonna take that solution and mix it up, it says. On. There we go. Bingo. Take the tube for at least five seconds. All right. Woo. Now we just place our uh, saliva sample in the collection bag. Boom. Pull off the adhesive and seal her up, baby. You know, this really brings new meaning to the term swap and spit. Now we just... Got a mailer in. Watch this be some big like government conspiracy. Now they got my DNA, now they're gonna clone me. As if we need any more goofy people running around this world. Close and boom. That was easy. I literally just got this tripod. Well, Aunt got it for me for Christmas. And this butt, like I've used it like three times and this button just fell off. I've tried putting it back on. It won't go on. So, not that it's a huge deal, but this thing was like a hundred bucks, man. Come on, Joby. So we're gonna run this thing to the post office momentarily. They said it takes like six to eight weeks to get your results back. So about time I forget completely that I ever did this thing, the results will show up. Watch, I'm gonna get in the mail and it's gonna be like, Dear Remington, you're pregnant and it's a girl. But darn it, she tricked me. Now after such a hard day of work, your boys worked up quite the hunger pang. What we got in the old fridge? Hmm, well, we got some, uh, uh, beef loaves, some ground turkey loaves, and hey, some pre prep meals. What we got here? Whoop. Beautiful. Check it out, man. We got eight ounces of 99% lean ground turkey. We got four ounces of fried zucchini, and then 50 grams dry weight cooked white rice. It does need microwave though, so a little pro tip, man. If you don't wanna mess your microwave up, leave the lid on it, but just whopper jaw it a little bit. You know, that old chestnut, a little bit of room out there, kind of steams it a little more and you don't splatter up. And yeah, not that these are gonna splatter a ton, but I mean, it helps. Oh, oh. Get in there, you squirrely. Boom. Two and a zero, zero, a go. So if you missed the last video I did, which was uh, how I meal prep for shreds in uh, 2020, basically I've been waking up every single morning and instead of like, like my last shred, for instance, I would cook all my meals like as I needed them and I'd be a little more flexible and like put things in and out of my plan. Then I realized that I was spending a lot of time cooking. So basically I spend about 30 minutes every morning prepping all my meals for the day and uh, they're just ready to go so I can microwave them. And it's that easy, it's that easy. So if you haven't watched that video, check it out, it's a good one. Now let's examine it after cooking. Ooh. 
The smoke just gives it a lot more sex appeal, you know what I mean? Right now it's in a red dress. Before it was just sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on, but that's when it's the prettiest. I hope it doesn't take it wrong. If you got that, you're an OG. I am gonna slap a little G on it because honestly, that's the best face in the barbecue business. G Hughes, the type of guy, he'd sell you a used car and it'd work great. You'd get a great value and it would drive for 10 years and you'd pass it on to your kids. It would have just been a wholesome used car deal start to finish, man. He's an honest man. Now I put G Hughes literally on everything. So when G's on top, everybody leaves satisfied. But we'll just do, we'll just do a little, little sprinkling on top. It's only two grams of carbs per serving. So it's pretty minor in the grand scheme of things, but it adds a ton of flavor. Just a little bit. And I would be a remiss uh, without a little bit of sriracha on here, man. Just a little bit of sriracha goes a long way too. Just a little beep. Bazinga. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got a serious question for all my gamers out there. I just wrapped up Death Stranding. I beat Pokemon Sword. Basically, I need a good game to play. Uh, I'm out of games. I'm, I'm out of games. I have a PS4, Xbox One X, Nintendo Switch, PC. I got it all, man. I, I need a game to play. So if you got to comment a good game down below, something I'm maybe not expecting. Like, don't just put Call of Duty because I got that. It's all right. But something cool. I'm down for whatever. Down for whatever. Put it below. Oh, I've been lacking. Today's Friday. I'm fucking taking shit all day, drinking vitamin C all day. So I get unsick so I can get ready. We gotta drop this fucking song, bro. Hey man, this just focus on resting up, bro. I'm good over here, man. You just get you just get good and then tomorrow, I mean we can get back in the grind. We'll just like, like I said, we're gonna get this done one way or another, man. Sick or not, we get it right. done. We just we get it right. done. We're gonna get it, yeah, fuck yeah. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna get it done. No matter what, we get it done. So Absolutely my brother. But shit, if you need anything, holler at me. I'm about to run to the gym. Alright, bro. I got you. All right, man, rest up. Dang, man, Darian's sick. Uh, and we got a song we are working on together. And literally, once this song's done, my next project drops. And you know what today is, man? As of this video, I think you're gonna be watching on the 19th. Yeah, but today is the 17th, January 17th. That is a one year anniversary of when I dropped my first music project, which is like a childhood dream of mine that I literally put together, did in like six months, learned how to do everything, put it out, yada, yada, yada. Anybody remember around this time last year how wild that week was, Clout Week? If you remember Clout Week, comment below. A lot of those videos don't exist anymore for obvious reasons. As of actually yesterday, my project is basically done. Like everything's set up. All I have to do is send a few tracks out to a studio to get mastered, but everything's mixed, everything's looking really good. The final thing though, my buddy Darian, you've been seeing in these videos, you know, Darian. Oh, yay big, built like one of them buff horses. Belgian Blue D, he's actually into all this music stuff too, and I wanted to get him a verse on one of my songs, so he literally has to like, we have to lay down a verse and get our song together that way. Uh, yeah, I just, I felt like that's, you know, good for all parties involved, so yeah, waiting on that, man. But today's the one year anniversary of Prototype 7. If you have not listened to that, Description box down below. You can check it out, man. I uh, am very proud of that piece of work. But this next one coming, you don't even know, boy. You don't even know. She's fire. She's coming in hot. Bink. Yeah. Boom. You chill right there. So I think the mail room here at uh, my complex probably has a thing I can stick this in and they'll just mail it for me. That way I don't gotta drive to the post office. Let's find out. Hey. Bingo. Outgoing mail, is that? Hmm, how does this work? Is that pull? Do I have to unlock that? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know how this works. All right, so apparently there's a way to do it in there. But the guys at the front, they love me because I've cooked them food and brought it down to them. And they get the leftovers, some of the recipe videos, right? They're just gonna give it to the mailman, so. Let's hope to God they don't steal my spit and drink it. All right, it is time to go get our lift in. I was supposed to originally do legs today. I was like, you know what? I'm filming. I ain't doing legs. Not happening. But yeah, back and chest today, so let's go shit. Man, real talk, I'm gonna need to get another camera soon because this one has been taking a lot of falls lately and she's not working as good as she needs to be. But that's a story for another time. So 
back and chest day, baby. Two back exercises, doing machine rows. We got 12 reps and I superset it with another machine row machine. This one's like a slightly different angle. So I love doing them back to back. It's like just when the first one exhausts me, I hop in here and this one is so hard to do to get 12 reps. I really got to push myself and I do four sets of the superset. So, I mean, it's killer. Real talk, it's good. And by this time, my back's already in a really good spot, but we're going to do another superset too. I like to get in and out of the gym, man. I don't want to lift for more than 40 minutes. That gives me 20 minutes for cardio after, and I'm solid. An hour in and out is how I like to do it. So we got lat pull downs here, pretty standard. And then we're going to come over here. We have easy bar lat push downs. So check this out. We we'll move over here. Then I do these. I kind of pivot to the side. That way I'm not bumping into that dude over there. I mean, he looks pretty big. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, ah, he's got a good physique. Look at that. Yeah, he's got some delts popping. All right. All right, son. And then uh, moving into chest now, man. The thing with my shoulder, my shoulder is so screwed up right now. It's, uh, it's literally not even funny. So barbell bench press kills me. Incline kills me right now. So while I'm rehabbing, I do a lot of like movements just like that with them cables and things like push-ups that uh, aren't going to aggravate it as much, man. I'm telling you, it's not in a good spot. I might need to get surgery on it because it really sucks, but I can't stay out of the gym. I keep lifting. So I love that superset right there. And like I said, my range of motion right now, my shoulder sucks. So I'm coming in and doing low to high pec flies right here with the cables. And I love these and uh, just kind of going out, squeezing really hard at the end. And this is probably one of my favorite machines here at Alpha Elite. This is a, uh, like, it's like a dip machine. So instead of having to actually do a dip, which has been hurting my shoulder, I kind of just bend down and it lets me push down and activate my chest right there. A little bit of triceps too, but an uh, awesome machine. And then, so that was eight, four supersets, eight workouts total, uh, 32 sets in total. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 32, something, I don't know, something. And I move into cardio, 20 minutes on the stair stepper, just how I like to do it, man. Every single day, no days off. Workout is done. Feeling sweaty, but feeling really good, man. This is actually like, right now, I'm not in like a crazy deficit. My diet's like around 2,400 calories a day. And uh, it's almost like, a, like I'm, I'm, it's probably still for me like a 200 calorie deficit, but it ain't nothing like I've been on. So like my workouts have been good, feeling good, performing good. And yeah, overall, man, life is good. Honey, I'm home. Oh, look at you in there. Look, guy, guy, come here, come here. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. Hey, <laughs> what you doing? That's my baby. I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you very much to everyone that watches these vlogs that I do. I know the meal prep videos, I know some of the recipe videos do a lot better, right, than a vlog does. But some days, man, I just feel like picking up the camera, sharing my life with you guys. And um, those of you that watch these and enjoy these and comment and hit the like button and all that stuff, like, it means the world to me that some of you guys find some of what the hell I'm doing over here entertaining. Like, it literally uh, <laughs> means a lot, I swear. If you're the type of person that watches these videos, right, if there's one thing, and if you want the vlogs to keep coming, because I do love vlogging, and I get some people that only really like the vlogs, right, if you do enjoy these, I need you to one, hit the thumbs up button because that helps the video get more exposure. It pushes it to people's subscription boxes because you guys can see I have like 400 and some thousand subscribers, but a vlog might only get 20,000 views, 30,000 views, right? So if you hit that thumbs up button, it pushes it out. If you leave a comment, it also does something with the algorithm. So I don't care what you comment, man, anything. Just it all helps. And if you do that for me, I mean, it, it means the world to me and uh, it lets me do what I do, especially now too with these vlogs, like I'm kind of solo dolo, you know what I mean? I don't have uh, really anyone to film me or do anything like that. Uh, angst gone and I'm, you know, I'm working on Darian. It's a, it's a struggle trying to figure this stuff out sometimes. So the support on these uh, means a lot. So as of right now, man, the game plan is, you see this right here, man? You see that? Laptop and a mouse right there. Basically, since the start of the new year, I have had so many clients signing up that I wake up at four in the morning, I'm working with clients, I'm creating meal plans, training plans, doing check-ins, things like that. And then after I get all that done, I can breathe for a little bit, go to the gym, then I come back, eat my food, and then I sit right here on my couch and do plans. It's normally like this uh, between January and then part of February. It's like super crazy client-wise. So while I'm doing the work, if you guys need personal training, you want a meal plan to follow, you want me to lay something out for you that can either be as simple as you want it or as complex as you want it. I, however you want to make it, right? I'll break down your macros, meal plan, meal by meal, everything. I'm the man for the job. RemyJamesFitness.com if you want anything like that and you want to start uh, seeing results because I promise you it works. I promise you it works. You just got to follow it. 
right? I'll, I'll, I'll do everything else. You just gotta do it. Sound good? All right, appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching the video. Like I said, it means a lot to me. I am out of here. Smash thumbs up, and I will see all you guys at uh, the next video. And yeah, album coming soon. Go stream prototype while you're chilling. Link in description to gear up for the new project. I'm gonna try to have it out by the end of January. It won't be later than February, though. Yeah, my word on that. Love you guys. Peace.